Hello, Cold Journey family. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I would love for you to be a part of the Cold Journey family. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you can be notified of all of the videos that we post here on this channel. As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm trying something new and I'm adding something new to my light moisture routine. And I just wanted to come here and share it with you guys. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love sea moss. I really am big on making sure my body gets all the nutrients and minerals that my body needs to function properly. Um, so the reason why I started this and wanted to try this is because I was like, hmm, you know, I'm taking sea moss. Um, internally and I'm seeing results and benefits from it. I wonder how it would be for my scalp health if I added it to my lock routine um, because you'll get the um, nutrients and minerals directly on the scalp and just to see how it would affect the growth of my locks. So that's kind of why I wanted to try it and I tried it a few times and I actually liked it and it made my scalp feel really moisturized. And so I just wanted to come on here and share it with you guys. So let's just go ahead and get straight into this video um, and show you what I do. All right, y'all. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is what I used. The first thing was the jojoba oil, some water. I used 100% spring water from Deer Park. I, I don't know. Sometimes I'm a little iffy with using faucet water. Um, then I got my sea moss, which is what I made um, at home, homemade sea moss um, from the dried sea moss. And then I also got a container to put the sea moss in and also... A scrunchie just because I love my sections and a mini brush so those are all the things that I use the only thing that I added to my hair regimen was the sea moss I try to keep everything else super 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 simple first thing you're gonna see me do is section off my hair um, I'm not gonna show you guys to do the whole head I'm just gonna do the front in this video but everything that I did to the front of my head is the same thing I did to the back of my head you can really tell that I'm due for a retwist. Um, I'm probably going to wait about one more week to go ahead and, and wash and retwist. But this is pretty much a good way for me to separate my locks so that they're not um, super matted together. And also just do a good moisture routine in between retwists. So first you see me putting some water in my spray bottle. I like to do this because it'll help um, you concentrate on where you want the water to go. And so I really want it to go on my scalp and my roots. So first thing I do is spray those down and it doesn't have to be super, super wet, but you want it at least damp so it's easy to manage and it doesn't um, cause breakage. Then I'm going to take the little brush um, and kind of brush my roots down. One, this will help smooth my roots, but also help get any kind of like dirt or debris out of my roots. I actually don't feel like my locks are mature enough to do it down the shaft yet. So I'll just do the roots. Then I'm going to take my sea moss and just rub it on my scalp and also a little bit on my hair at the root um, so both can get moisturized you don't need a lot of this just a little bit then i'm going to take my jojoba oil and put it directly on top of that sea moss in the water when i was doing this i kind of wanted to think like okay if i was doing like the loc method or trying to retain my moisture how would i do it First, I would put the water down and the sea moss and then use the oil to seal in that moisture from the water and the sea moss. So that's kind of why I did it that way. So first thing I do is spray my roots because you don't ever want to do anything on dry hair. Then also I add the sea moss just a little bit. And then also I add my oil. So that's kind of what I do. And I just do that across my whole head. And one thing I did notice about doing this is that my edges were really smooth and sleek. And so if I wanted to do a slick back ponytail, I really could have done that. You'll see like at the end how my hair looks and how smooth it looks um, after brushing the roots out. So I don't know. I think it was pretty good doing this and it was a lot of ways I could have styled this after, but I just chose not to. But it definitely got rid of some of that shrinkage.
So now that I'm done with that section, I go in and start to massage my root and my scalp. Y'all know you got to get that scalp stimulation so you can get some blood flow to your scalp in that area. This is also really great to help moisturize and um, just absorb those oils into your scalp. I've noticed that jojoba oil is super light, so it doesn't like leave oil on my pillow. Um, so that is great. You want to get that moisturized and rubbed in. The next thing I like to do is I spray water on my ends and edit the sea moss in the oil as well using the same method that I did with my scalp. But we also want to make sure that the ends of our locks are feeling good as well. All right, guys, so this is the last row on the other side. Basically, I did the same exact thing I did on the other side. I did the spray it with water, brush it out at the root, add the sea moss, add the jojoba oil, rub it in, moisturize it in, um, get some scalp stimulation, yada, yada, yada. Same thing. Not sure if you can tell because I'm really frizzy, but like my curls are starting to, to define at the roots. And to me, that's a really good sign of moisture is definition, hair definition or curl definition. So I don't know. That's kind of what I did. And I liked to just kind of brush my edges up as well um, because I was about to put it up in a half down, um, half up, half down ponytail. And so I really stretched my locks out to be able to do this side. guys so that is all that I do um, I keep it super super simple it's not gonna be cakey because it's more thin um, and I really think it's just based on the way that you make your sea moss gel if you would like to see how I make my sea moss gel homemade let me know and I can make sure I upload a video for you guys make sure you drop it in the comment section below as always make sure you like share subscribe and I hope to see you guys next time mm -hmm.